Hello! In this video, I'm going to cover all of the different methods that you can use to customize your character in Unreal Engine 5, from the simplest methods to the more complex. So by watching this full video, you'll know all of the different ways that you can customize your character and choose the one you want to go with, or maybe you'll combine them. So if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe. And before we get started, if you'd like to learn how to create an advanced custom character creator system from scratch and learn the methods that games use to create their own character creators, make sure to check out my how to make an advanced character creator course. It'll teach you everything you need to know about creating a character creator in Unreal Engine. And I'm planning in mid-April to add a whole new section that will cover how to use the new Mutable plugin, which was introduced in Unreal Engine 5.5, which helps with character customization. Okay, with that being said, let's get into the video. So, in total, I think I found around four main ways that you can use to customize your character. One, you can change the material of your character. Two, you can change the mesh of your character. Three, you can add meshes and different parts to your character. And four, you can use the Mutable plugin. Now I'm going to cover how we can use each of them to customize our character. Let's go. The character that I'm going to use in this video is from a free fab asset pack by It Happy. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video in case you want to basically experiment and play around with creating different character creator systems. Okay, so the first way we can customize our character is by changing the color of them. So I have my two different characters, the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin and this character. And there are these things inside Unreal Engine called material instances. If I just open this up, my mannequin character is made up of a material instance and I can easily change the texture of my mannequin or the color. So if I just select here, I can change the color of my mannequin to be any color that I want. Material instances are very easy to set up. If you don't know how to, I'll just quickly go over that. So I have this other character and he is just made up of this material. If I open it up, it just has this texture file and this basically controls the color of my character. Let's say I wanted to make it so I could easily change the color of my character. What I can do is I can just drag off here and look for the multiply node. Then I'm just going to press 3 on my keyboard. That will allow me to create a color constant, which lets me determine the color of elements. We just want to right click on this and go convert to parameter. Just call this color. Connect this into here and this into here. So this will just multiply the texture of my character by this color. Let's just make it white. So that will have no effect. I'll just apply this. Then I'm just going to right click on this and go create material instance. If I open this up, if I go over to the global vector parameter values, I can determine the color of this. I'm just going to make it so my character uses this color instant. So I'm just going to open them up. And then here I can basically just change my character so they use the color instant. And now if I just open this up, I can easily change the color of this character to be any color that I want it to be. Hello, the next way we can set up character customization in Unreal Engine is by changing the mesh of the character. So I've made it so when I press the one button, it will toggle me between the male and the female Unreal Engine mannequins. And we can also make it so we can completely change the mesh and animation blueprint that our character uses. So right now I am this character from another project, and this character uses a different animation blueprint. He has no jumping animations, so when he jumps he kind of just floats in the air, although if I change back i can change back to the unreal engine mannequin animation blueprint and this character has jumping animations included so this is very simple to set up you just need to know about a couple of nodes so i'm just going to go over to my third person character and in order to switch skeletal meshes we just need to look for the set skeletal mesh asset note this will only work if the characters are rigged to the same skeleton so I can basically change to the female mannequin and then to the male mannequin when I press the one button. If you try to switch to a character which doesn't have the same rig, then the animations aren't gonna work. So here I basically try to swap to the other character. Although because this character isn't rigged to the same skeleton that the other characters use, it's not working. So if you are gonna swap to a different character, who uses a different rig, then you'll also need to update that character's animation blueprint. So I made it so when I press the two button, I switch to the other character. Although when I switch to the other character, I also just need to select the mesh 
and update the animation blueprint. So I basically update the animation blueprint. I use this node to set anim instance. And then here, I basically have an animation blueprint for my other character. So if the character is not rigged, then you need to update the animation blueprint. So that's the second way of setting up character customization. You can make it so you can entirely change the mesh to a different character and they don't necessarily need to share the same rig. Hello, the next way to set up character customization in Unreal Engine is by adding and removing different meshes to your character. There are multiple different ways we can code this in Blueprint logic, but the base overall principles remain the same. So if I go over to my character and I go over to the viewport, there are two ways we can add meshes to our character. The mesh could either be a skeletal mesh or a static mesh. A skeletal mesh is a mesh which is rigged to the character. So for example, this piece of clothing is a skeletal mesh. And if I just go over to it, if I open it up, this is rigged. And this shares the same rig as my main character. So with things you want to add to your character, if it's a piece of clothing, it does need to be rigged to your character. Otherwise, it won't really look correct. So these pants, they're rigged to the character. This hair is rigged to the character. These shoes, they're rigged to the character. And to basically add or remove elements to your character, what you can do is you can just select the mesh. You want to go add and you want to look for a skeletal mesh. I'll just select it. Right now, it's nothing. You can leave it nothing if you don't want anything to be, if you don't want anything to appear to your character and later we can fill this in. But if I just select this and let's say I add this clown nose, if I just compile this, this isn't gonna be in the correct place in order to basically make it match the clothing and the rig of my character. Inside of Unreal Engine, we just need to go to the construction script, drag it in. Then you just wanna look for this node, set leader pose component and just connect from here into target. And then you want to select the mesh. This will be the new leader bone component. And this is going to be what we're attaching our mesh to. Because this piece of mesh is also rigged to my main mesh. If I just go compile now, that nose will now be in place. And then you can easily update this at runtime in your game. If you just go over to the event graph, the way I coded this randomization screen is very simple. I basically get the piece of skeletal mesh that I want to randomize. And I just drag off here and I look for set skeletal mesh asset. If I just break the link here, here I could specify if I wanted to have a specific skeletal mesh, although I just basically created a variable which holds a bunch of different skeletal meshes and then it will just randomly pick one of them. There is a more efficient way to do this. I could have this in a data table, but I'm just showing an overview of how I set up the system. And then using this, we could easily add or remove pieces from our character. So I'm just going to look for the one key. I'll drag off here and look for flip, flop. And then I'll drag in my skeletal mesh, drag off here and look for set skeletal mesh asset. When I press A, we can make it nothing, although I'll just copy this and paste it. Connect this into target. And then when I press one again, I'll make it show the clown nose. Now if I go compile and I go play, I press one and that will toggle my character's clown moves on and off. So that's what you can do if a piece of mesh is rigged to your character. Although it is possible to set this up with static meshes, the mesh doesn't necessarily need to be rigged to the character. Although if it's something like a piece of clothing, then it should be rigged. Otherwise it won't look as good. So I'll just show you the other way. So we can also have static meshes instead of skeletal meshes. So for my Unreal Engine Mannequin character, I'm just going to find their skeleton and I'm just going to open them up. I want to go over to my character skeleton because both of those characters are rigged to the same skeleton. It's just showing me um, this character. Although if I wanted to change the preview character, if you have multiple characters rigged to the same skeleton, I can just go to preview mesh and just change it. And then I'm just going to look for my character's head bone because I'm going to add a hat to my character. So I'm just going to scroll down. I found my character's head bone. I'm just going to right click and go add socket. I'm just going to call this hat. Then I'm just going to right click and look for add preview asset. And then I have imported this model of a hat. And then 
using these three tools I can rotate move and scale this object so I'm just gonna do that and I'm just gonna position this hat on my player character's head if I go over to my third person character to add this hat to my character I could easily just go add then look for a static mesh I'll call this the hat and then in the static mesh I'll look for the hat and right now the hat's at the bottom in order to basically make it where I put it on my character we need to make sure that this hat is inside of the mesh that way it's a child of the mesh then here in the parent socket I can just look for the hat and then you may need to click some arrows here to basically reset the hat to its original position so if I move this if I click here that will allow me to reset it to its default position and then with static meshes make sure it has no collision and if I just compile this if I play my game my character now has a hat and the hat is just attached to my character's head bone and then I could easily just remove or hide that hat in a very similar way so the next way you can create a character creator system inside Unreal Engine is using the Mutable plugin now this is a new plugin which was introduced in Unreal Engine 5.5 so it only works in this version of Unreal Engine and it basically helps when you want to create character creator systems if you want to use it you have to just go over to edit then plugins then in the search just make sure you've enabled the mutable plugin otherwise you won't be able to use it now the mutable plugin allows us to create something called customizable objects i'm in one right now and here i can basically design a modular character creator system so you can see my character in the bottom left this will just give me a preview of the character and i've added some code here i can't basically go into every single code because it's quite a lot but basically I set it up so I can toggle whether my character will have a clown nose I can choose whether they're wearing a clown outfit or a rat outfit I can change their sneakers and inside of this customizable object you can control a bunch of things so you can make it so you can change the color of your character and it will all be contained within here then with this, this allows you to create a customizable instance which will basically be a version of this and I can basically toggle all of the different parameters that I have and then I can add this to my character so I've set up a character and this will basically have a reference to all of the information inside of my customizable object so if I wanted to I could add a bunch of different hairstyles, glasses, you name it and it'll all be inside of here in the previous method that I showed you I had to have all of the objects as a scale tool mesh here in order to basically have it on my character and preview it I had to have all of the objects here however with the mutable plugin it can just exist in here and then you can use some blueprint logic and code and I basically just set up this very simple UI and I've connected this to my customizable object so I can inside of my game I can toggle whether my character's a clown nose whether they have a rat outfit a clown outfit what shoes they wear if you do want a more step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Mutable plugin, I did create a simple tutorial on how to set it up. I'll make sure a link to it appears somewhere now. Go check out that video if you're interested. And using the Mutable plugin, you can basically create character creator systems. I'm actually going to be adding a whole new section to my character creator course because I made a course where we go over how to set up a character creator system using blueprints. Although I'm going to add a whole new section to that course where we go over how to create a character creator system using the new Mutable plugin because it has a lot of features if you do want to learn how to create a advanced character customization system and use the mutable plugin make sure to check out my character creator course there'll be a link to it in the description of this video it may already be out depending on when you're watching this but it should come mid april if you're watching this in april so there you have it those are the four ways you can customize your character okay that's all for this video if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe if you want to get access to all of my courses check out the link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.